our devotion. We have Cindy. Cindy will be leading us um, for our devotion this morning. We welcome you, Cindy. Um, over to you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, good morning, children of the Most High. Uh, yes, we like to thank the Lord for allowing us to be part of this devotion this morning. And we thank him also for waking us up as we were sleeping. Um, today we are going to talk about our mission, our mission of serving uh, God's people, uh, community service. Uh, I've started the community service in uh, 2005. Uh, when I started the community service, I was cooking food from my house, cooking for the people who are sitting on the street looking for jobs. And the Lord put the desire in my heart of uh, uh, doing that. Mm. And then I went on and on uh, towards the end of 2006. Um, one of my neighbor, I, that time I didn't know that he, she was my neighbor. Uh, she came as I was uh, giving food because I used to give food every Tuesday and Thursday. And then she came and stopped next to the corner that I was using to, to give the God's people food. And she asked me what I'm doing. And then I explained to her, which you know, I am doing community service, uh, uh, cooking food from my house and share with the people. And that time, you know, uh, I would cook the food. I did not have a car. I didn't even know uh, how to drive. You know, I would cook the food and put them in the wheelbarrow and go up there in that corner and the men, they would come. That time it was most of men, women, there were few. You know, they would come and then we'll sing a song and then we'd read the script and then I would pray with them. And then it went on and on. And then she asked me, where do I get this food? Then I told her, but you know, I cook from my, 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 my house, from my food, you know? And she said to me, okay, I also do e-community service. Uh, her name was Madeleine. She said, I also do e-community service. And I said, oh, okay. And she said, do you mind if I can share uh, uh, food uh, from Woolworth with you uh, so that you'll be able also to cook from that food? I said, no, it's, it, uh, I would really appreciate that. And then uh, she went, uh, she gave me the food every uh, Wednesday, she will share the food with me. And uh, I will cook uh, for Thursday, I will cook the food from Woolworth uh, and then go and, and, and give the God's people. It went on and on. Um, she became, a, 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 it was like um, a chain. She became, and then she connected with me. Later, she connected with me with a Maranatha Church. Maranatha Church, they, would, they used to get food from Empire's Palace, you know, and every Monday, the food that they left over from, a week, from Sunday, and then she would, they would get food. And then she would share with me also that food, and I would go and give uh, God's people. As I was doing that, later, God, in, uh, he put also in my heart now to go again and um, to go to pick and pay, to ask a donation, uh, uh, a donation. And then I went to pick and pay, you know, and uh, as I went to pick and pay, they really helped me with roles and other stuff. And uh, as I was doing that, you know, God opened doors for me that I never thought would really God will open the, those doors for me. And, uh, now I found myself now collecting food from, in Kempton Park, we've got, um, we've got uh, five pick and pays. And then I found myself uh, collecting food from uh, four pick and pays. And uh, I was like, Lord, now the job is becoming big and the, it's becoming too much. I don't know what to do, you know? And uh, God said to me, okay, you see these people, they are many, and they've got families in their houses. When you give them food here, they eat, and then they are full, they go home. And then when they, they reach home, there's no food because there's, there's, they, they are not working. And then she put in my heart to make food parcels for them. Then I started to make food parcels for them, and then I will go to the corner now, because now the number increases. Now I had to find a, a trolley, a trolley, the trolley that we use when we buy groceries in our supermarket. 
I had to find a drone because the wheelbarrow became small. And then I went to also um, food lovers. Today it's food lovers. Uh, I went there to ask them to borrow me a drone because the food lovers was closer to my house. And then they borrowed me. They asked me, what are you going to do with this uh, drone? And then I explained to them, which, you know, I'm cooking food for these people who are sitting in front of your, your shop uh, looking for jobs. And then I give them food. And then they gave me the trolley. And as, as I was explaining to them, they said to me, OK, if we are doing that, we, we, we are really looking for people who will come to our shops and they ask for donation, and then we help them. And then also the food lovers, they help me by giving me vegetables and fruits. And then I will make food parcels also for them, you know. And uh, you know what is amazing about it? As soon as I make food parcels for them, they will leave the place and go home, you know. And it came to my mind, okay, the main thing that people makes people to go out uh, looking for jobs is food, you know. And then also I became part of uh, food lovers. Then I would go there, collect, collect vegetables every day and go to my house. Some of them, they, were, they will be rotten and I would clean them and cut them nicely and put them in the small plastics. And then I would take them to the people, put them in the trolley and then they will go home. You know, God was so good to me. Now, because now the job became so big, uh, and God said to me, okay, now we're not, you are a tree. A tree is got branches. Now you need to share this pick and paste because now I used to collect two to four pick and paste. You need to share this food with other people also who are in line of your community service. Then uh, we started now to, I, 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 I was working with another Gogo, Gogo Masego. She stays here in Tembisa. And then we, we connected with uh, Tembisa South Church also. It did not end there also. We connected with um, uh, with another lady from Tembisa uh, East Church, Mama Mazibugo. And then also she became part of the community service. Also she went to collect food at Pick and Pay, the Italy, uh, another one in that side, Italian, Italian side. It did not end there. It went on and on um, until now Woolworth, also, they approached me now. Hey, it was amazing what God was, uh, was doing that time. And then when they approached me, they, they told me, I can also come to their shop and collect food. But now, you know, when we work with Woolworth, you must have a, usually they deal with children, you know, I'm orphanage homes, crutches, you know, all those things. And then now I find myself again becoming a, a tree that will supply a uh, the tree that will have branches of supplying crutch now. And then uh, the, the Woolworth, they gave me food. I used to take the food to one of the crutch in Tembisa. The owner of that crutch passed away last year, Mama Matenjwa. Uh, this year, Mama Matenjwa. Then I would collect the food from Woolworth and take it to the crutch. It was not only uh, feeding the children in the crutch, it was also feeding families around the area, you know. And the people, they will come and collect food every Friday morning because I used to drop the food uh, Thursday uh, evening. And then Friday morning, people, they will come and fetch their food. And uh, what I want to say is that I want to encourage someone. Uguti, you know, the supermarkets out there, they are waiting for someone to come in and ask for donations. You know, uh, God has called us to serve has called us into a mission to serve in the community. You know, especially now, many people, they've lost their jobs. Many people, they, you know, they are not working. And the God is looking for someone who will go and, uh, and, and serve in, in the community and go to those supermarkets. It did not end there, the, 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 com the community service. And then also, uh, now we are doing it, uh, packing for families. In my area, I stay in Bachelor North. Uh, I, we, we do it every Tuesday and every Thursday. So in Bachelor North, we've got families who are not working. They are coming from different places. Some of them, they've got transport. Some of them, they don't have transport. You know what, they come here, we deliver the food for them. We, we make food parcels and then when we are done, we take the food to their houses. 
And then also we go to Grand Marais every Thursday. I've got the sister that I work with her, Sister Lindy. I, uh, every Thursday we go to Grand Marais to also, we collect food in that pick and pay, and then we, we make food parcels, and then we take it to people's houses. Some of them, they will come because they are not far from the place that we are using my sister's house. They will come and collect their food. And uh, it, it's really fulfilling in, uh, in your heart when, when you are doing such things like this, when you know that you are working for the Lord, it's really fulfilling. So God he's, he's, he is there to help us to do what he has called us to do. I want to read Matthew chapter 20, verse 26. Yet it shall not be so among you, but whoever desire, desires to become great among you, let him be your servant. And whoever desire to be first among you, let him be your slaves, just as the son of man did not come to be saved, but to serve and to give his life and ransom for many. God has called us to serve in his kingdom. He has called us to take care of uh, people around us. You know, Jesus said in his word, the poor, they will be always with you. So God is, is looking for people who will go out there and, 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 and look for help and come back and work for the Lord. You know, when you are doing the supermarket uh, things, going there to ask for donations, it's, it's an it's a, it's a experience of being humble. God humbles you because that place is not yours. You have to be patient also, uh, waiting upon the Lord. You know, the people, they will take their own time. But as we are standing there, we are connecting with the Lord. You are praying, you know, you are asking God uh, to give you patience so that because you wait in La Payana when we are taking the food. You know, when I started this journey, it was from the wheelbarrow to the trolley. Remember that time I didn't know how to drive and I didn't have a car. From wheelbarrow to trolley, from trolley to a car. I thank God for that. You know, <laughs> when people, when the people on the street saw me driving, they were so amazing. They said, ah, this mama now she is driving. She used to come here with a wheelbarrow, from the wheelbarrow to the trolley, from the trolley to the car. You know, when you are doing God's work, God will lift you up. When you lift up his name, God will lift you up. So I want to encourage someone uh, this morning, whatever that God has put in your heart, don't be afraid. Just take a step forward and you see how much God will help you. You see how much God will lift you up because whatever that we do, we are not doing it for ourselves, but we are doing it for the Lord. So we thank God for that. We are here to serve as the Bible tells us, which just as the son of man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life a, a, a ransom for many. So God is looking for people who are going to serve in his kingdom. I'm encouraging someone this morning, go to wherever you are, don't be afraid to take a step forward. Just listen, just obey the voice of the Lord. Amen. Amen and amen, Mamukindi. Thank you for such a powerful encouragement that we are called to be the feet and the hands of Jesus. And when we are busy with God's work, God is able to do wonders through us. Oh, what a privilege, sinners like us, to be able to work in the vineyard of God. It is indeed a privilege. At this time, it is our time of wrestling with God through our prayer. We will enter into our prayer rooms. However, I just want to remind you that on our chat, on our chats, the prayer points have been shared. Also on our Telegram, the prayer points have been checked. So please check them so that you, you pray on those points. A prompt will appear on your screen. You will press 